Christine Beyer here, licensed esthetician. I say master esthetician. A master is somebody who's been doing something for 10,000 hours. And I've been doing this for 20 years, so I think I'm pretty much past the 10,000 hour mark. Today, I just wanted to talk about those dreaded lip lines. Lip lines, we all have them. You're past 50, I'm sure you got them. Huh, why can't I see mine? Interesting, oh, there they are. There they are. <laughs> I'm trying really hard to show you my lip lines. I just did a video on one of my favorite mists. This is a Korean stem cell mist that plumps skin like nobody's business. And it, it's from a facial filling line. And I just sprayed it on and I got rid of my lip lines. So there you go. But this video is about all my favorite ways to work on lip lines, those dreaded lip lines. Sometimes people call them smoker lines. Ain't got nothing to do with smoking. <laughs> okay, sometimes. Look, if you're a lifelong smoker, I'm sure it has something to do with that. But I think that's a myth. That's like one of those shaming skincare myths that is not true at all. I've never smoked a day in my life and I have lip lines. And the reason this happens is because, well, this area gets a lot of movement, right? We, don't, we can't stop talking, we can't stop eating, and so there's a lot of motion going on here. And our, our fat padding through the area starts to wear away after years and years. You know, it just whittles down on all of us, happens to all of us, thank goodness, right? Aging is the great equalizer. <laughs> the muscles never stop moving. So we start to get little accordion lines where those muscles come together. Degradation of collagen over the years, degradation of fat padding. We can even get tooth loss and gum loss. All these factors combine together to the equivalent of pulling together a purse string on one of those little, like a purse string, and then everything goes, ooh, and there's lines that radiate out like sunshine. <laughs> because I wouldn't call it sunshine, but yeah, they radiate out. So what do I do for this? I would say the first thing I do is release work, right? I wanna see how much tension people are storing there. And usually, usually it is their area, right? When I get somebody to come in that's just got massive lip lines, that is their area. They are a purser and I'm a purser too. And I can tell you that a lot of this stems from the jaw. So we need to release the jaw in this area. Now I've already done a video on how to release, release the lower face. There is a video coming on how to release the jaw. Another part of massage that a lot of times our fingers can't get those superficial lines that just cement into the lips. And I love the Anma for that. If you have a gua sha tool, you can use that as well. But I always start out like this which you can do with your fingers. Once again, I did a video on this. And the trick with this move is to relax your jaw and visualize opening up space between the top and the bottom teeth in the back. So if you do that, if you did that along with me, you'll realize how much stress you have in this bottom third of the face. And how you would use this is you would just pull the lips tight on one side and just release that very lightly. Always have to go lighter before you go deeper. Very lightly. And it feels really good. I'm a purser. This is where I hold all my tension. So yeah, that's a uh, second tool. I usually do some sort of peel. This can be lactic or glycolic peel, depending on the person's skin. But what would you do at home? You'd make sure that you're exfoliating and you can exfoliate with your ex favorite exfoliator. You know, lip lines, it really depends on how deep they are. But in my 40s, I really, really favored derma rolling for my lip lines. But now I feel like they are deeper and with derma rolling, you have to make sure that you get right in the center of that wrinkle because you have to rejuvenate not just the skin around it, but the skin 
inside the wrinkle. Now, this is a cheapo 0.3 millimeters, which means it's a third of a millimeter. I used to give these to clients because they wanted product penetration, and I guess they're fine for product penetration. These are kind of wimpy. You can see the teeny, 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 tiny needles on that. And I feel like for lip lines, you really need a 0.5 maxing out at a 1.0 and just know if you're doing a 1.0 and you're doing it correctly you probably need numbing cream because this is an area of a lot of nerve activity it's what makes kissing so delightful makes getting lip treatments hell <laughs> so just know that if you're doing a 1.0 and you're doing it correctly which means you're applying some pressure you're holding there's a whole way of doing the lips the tissue above the lips sorry some people microneedle the lips i don't recommend it but the tissue above it, the lips and the lip lines you really need to be doing all the directions so north south east west and di each diagonal and they make smaller three line derma rollers too that you might find a little easier to wield in this area your makeup can go a long way in disguising lip lines. I had been looking for just a very light foundation that didn't emphasize my fine lines and wrinkles. I'm 51 and I'm like, I don't want to put all this stuff on my face. I feel like it doesn't look flattering now that I'm in my 50s. I want something super light. Blurring would be wonderful and SPF, please. And so the Sculpa people the facial filling line from Korea. They did not disappoint and this came out. My God, I love this product. I have not stopped using it since the day I got it. I think it's been a month. I went to Spain, sunny, sunny Spain. I use it every single day. This is so interesting. It's self-adjusting. Mine's kind of schmutzy. It's self-adjusting to your color and it blurs out lip lines. So check this out. It's SPF 50. And I put this on my friend Isabel, who is Latina and probably three shades darker, two, three shades darker than me. And she looked as good as I did with it on all day. And you put this stuff on in the morning, it does not budge. <laughs> I look as good at night when I take it off as it does in the morning. So this is a godsend. So yeah, check this out. Just so you know, that's way too much. But you know, okay, can you see my lip lines? They're right there. But can you hardly see them? Because this is blurring. And I love that. That's like such a great hack for lip lines. And then you go in to some really clever drugstore products that don't budge, like this guy. This is like five bucks. It's wet and wild, it's their gel liner. And so, because it's a gel, it does not budge. God, excuse my coffee teeth. So, you put this on, and because it's so light and it just locks into place, it does not move. Now, that's not a perfect application, but Uh, you know, it's drugstore, so it doesn't have a bunch of different colors, but but I love it. It tends to just lock into place and not travel up your lip lines. So I think makeup can go a long way in disguising lip lines and imperfections. I mean, you learn how to wield some good makeup and it goes just a long way in disguising age. <laughs> Okay, so the Mac Daddy, the Mac Daddy of what to do for lip lines. Say you're older, you've got glycation. Glycation is when collagen mixes with a sugar molecule and it forms this almost like a plastic coating. And if you've ever looked at grandma and grandpa and they have that cobble skin chin or that cobble skin look on their cheeks, that is glycated skin. And that is an esthetician's worst nightmare. Until I discovered that fibroblast just burns through that stuff and it burns it right off. <laughs> this fibroblast, if you've not heard about it, it is a little device that makes a spark up off the skin and it forms a little pattern. 
I do Avatar Fiberglass, which is by Isabel Brown. She's down in Tampa. And she can renew people's lips like you wouldn't believe. It's just what she does to lips. Look up before and after Fiberblast lips and you'll see how much it softens that because it cuts through all that glycation. And if you have glycation, you will know because everything you do to it does nothing. And that's essentially why it is so annoying. Uh, oh, oh, and the last thing, if you're not ready for Fiberblast, which has downtime, is the Time Master Pro. And I know I've talked about this a lot, but I love this machine. This is a Korean device. It was introduced last year. It has been blowing my mind ever since. I have a client who is, I think she's 78 and she is a dynamo she's still working full time but she's got glycation especially on her chin and she bought this in december of last year and i saw her is about two weeks ago and i was gobsmacked because it, the glycation had softened considerably and i'm like what is going on she uses this twice a week for 10 minutes so this has ultrasound and led right and really the magic of this guy is the ultrasound and it comes in at ninety thousand waves per second so it's in the kilohertz so everybody asks me what is the difference between the time master pro and all of these devices that are twenty dollars that i see on amazon and ebay the difference is the frequency most of those cheaper machines are coming from China and they are in the megahertz range. Megahertz are millions of waves per second. And so what happens is the more waves you have, the lighter and the less penetration you get, which seems counterintuitive, but it would be like a million little slaps as opposed to 90,000 harder hits, right? So if you have one wave per second, you're gonna feel that more than you would feel one million little waves, <laughs> right? It's just like little finger pads. So most of the machines I would use, and I've used so many of those cheap machines, and then I had a desktop machine that was more expensive, and it was in the megahertz range, right? It was, they're usually three to five, one to three to five megahertz, so millions of hertz per second. And what happens is they're very, very, superficial in their penetration so they only penetrate maybe a millimeter whereas this guy it will penetrate so far that it actually activates your muscles and you get a double purge effect but it also breaks down glycation which I don't even understand that blows my mind I've been using it on my scar which if you followed me at all you realize that it's way less red and it's getting smaller I don't work on it constantly, but I thought that was my imagination. I thought, really, I can't believe that that looks better, but it was using this on it. I don't even understand how it breaks down scar tissue, but it does. So you have to use this on a regular basis, but this has been a top seller. Apologies, it's hard to keep in stock, but it is so worth the money and it works on lip lines like nobody's business. A lot of times you have to turn it up to level four to turn it all the way up and get those lip lines and just know that it's going to be fairly intense the first time you use it on your lips and your lip lines but your skin will acclimate and start to thicken up in response to it fairly quickly one last thing that i love for lip lines and i discovered this by accident is there is the angel lips right um, it's just a little piece of silicone I think they're like 80 bucks which is ridiculous and you you put it in here in the morning for half an hour while you're checking your emails you're supposed to keep a neutral face while you have it in but I found out by accident that those dental guards you can buy them at Walmart because I'm a grinder I grind my teeth at night and I had one professionally made for my dentist and it just was not agreeing with me. It was such a weird shape and it only had just a little bar that came across like that. And I was like, huh. And as I wore that, I noticed that my lips got smaller and smaller and smaller. And I was like, 
where did my top lip go? I was upset and then it hit me that my old retainer had like a little lip that came out and forced my lip out while I slept. And so that forward pressure was pushing out these lip lines and I thought that was really fascinating. So I went right out to Walmart and I bought, they're like 20 bucks and you put them in the microwave and you can form them to your teeth. And I'm back on those because that one that my dentist made just wasn't working for me. And so now I sleep with that and it has a little lip and it's, I guess it's silicone. And so it just pushes my top lip out just a little bit and it brought my lip back and I'm so pleased because <laughs> every little bit helps. So that is my magic formula as of right now, all the things I do, probably most of the things I do to help with lip lines start there and if she's still got lip lines you can always end up with fibroblasts you can always do filler but just keep in mind that if you fill your lips so that the, all the lip lines are gone you're gonna look crazy <laughs> note to self so all those people who have that huge upper lip it's because they tried to get rid of the upper lip lines by overfilling the lips and that doesn't look natural or pretty or anything so just know that a little bit of lip lines are normal but we can fight them as we age.